Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. This is series 2 where we are learning triangles. Today is webisode number 23 and friends, today's topic is Prove Pythagoras Theorem. Now, let's look at what is Pythagoras Theorem. Now friends, you know from your earlier classes that Pythagoras Theorem is nothing but in a right angle triangle, in any right angle triangle, the square of hypotenuse is equal to the sum of square of other two sides. That means if I have a right angle triangle and right angle triangle is nothing but one angle of the three angles must be 90 degree, then we call that triangle right angle triangle. So in our triangle ABC, angle B is 90 degrees. So, ABC is a right angle triangle and we know that hypotenuse is the side which is opposite to 90 degrees. So, this side is hypotenuse. So, Pythagoras theorem tells us that AC hypotenuse square is equal to sum of squares of other two sides. So, AB is the uh, one of the other sides square AB square and the last side is BC BC so if you square BC then sum of these squares is equal to hypotenuse square so this friends is what is Pythagoras theorem so in today's presentation this episode we are going to actually prove this so let us first draw a right angle triangle right so here we have drawn a right angle triangle which is right angled at b so we have triangle abc such that abc is 90 degrees then we have to prove so first we write what is given so this is what is given and then what we have to prove is ac square is equal to ab square plus ac square actually this should be AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Next, friends, we do a simple construction. So we, from point B, we drop a perpendicular on the hypotenuse AC. Right? So by construction, BD is perpendicular to AC. Now friends, here if you look at triangle BDC and if you take a if you take the small triangle BDC and the big triangle ABC, we know these two triangles are similar from the earlier theorem. In the last webisode, friends, this is exactly what we have seen. You can either use the last theorem or you can very simply prove that that angle D is 90 degrees which is same as angle B and the angle C is common to both the small triangle B, D, C and A, B, C. So the small triangle B, D, C and A, B, C are similar, right? Now because these two triangles are similar, we can write B, C by A, C which is in the small triangle opposite to 90 degrees is a side B, C. So B, C by AC. In the big triangle, angle B is 90 degree. The side opposite is AC. So, BC by AC is equal to CD. Opposite to this angle is CD and opposite to this angle is BC. Corresponding sides are proportional. So, BC square is equal to AC times CD. So, from here, friends, looking at the small triangle, and small triangle and the big triangle are similar. So we have got BC square is equal to, that is this square is equal to AC, the big length, times CD. The reason why we want to do it this way, friends, is remember, we are trying to prove that BC square plus AB square is equal to AC square. So from this, from this relation, we want to get BC square. So we have got BC square is equal to AC times CD. 
Now, similarly, what we can actually do is that if you take a look at this big triangle, A, B, D, this triangle is similar to the larger triangle ABC. Again, why? This angle is 90 degrees. So angle D is equal to angle B and this is common in both the triangles. So here friends, the angle opposite to the, so, so these two triangles are similar by AAA, similarity rule. So the side opposite to 90 degrees is AB. So AB by AC, right, AB by AC is equal to, we can say, AD by AB, right? Similarly, so if you were to just, you know, take the AB over here and AC over here, you will get AB square equal to AC times AD. So friends, as you can notice from here, we have got BC square from the first equation and we have got AB square from the second equation. Now what we want to do, as you can imagine, is we just want to add equation 1 and equation 2, right? So BC square is AC times CD and AB square is AC times AD. So if you add these two equations, what you will get is you will get, just simply if you add it, BC square plus AB square is equal to AC times CD plus AC times AD. So from here, you are going to take AC common because you have AC and AC. If you take AC common, you will have CD plus AD. But what is CD plus AD? This is CD and this is AD. So CD plus AD is nothing but AC. So here CD plus AD is nothing but AC. So you have AC times AC or AC square. So you have BC square plus AB square is equal to AC square. And friends, that is what we wanted to prove. That the Pythagoras theorem says that if you take a right angle triangle, then this is, so hypotenuse square, AC square, should be equal to AB square plus BC square and this, and this should be true for any right angle triangle and that is exactly what we have just proved. So friends, this is how we prove Pythagoras theorem.